Hello there. So let's see how we go about scraping those sides. So let's uh, start by creating a scrapey uh, spider. Scrapey, and then we see the options here. Scrapey start project, and let's call this uh, space keywords. Okay, so we follow here the instructions. See the space keywords. And let's create a simple spider scrapey, then spider, and um, let's name it, name it space, and uh, URLs, let's say foo.bar, it doesn't matter, we'll remove this in a bit. Good, so now if you see what we have here, we have uh, space keywords, uh, the project, and then we have scrapey.config, this is the first level. In it we have lots of code generated files and uh, we can see them uh, here. Most notably we have the spiders directory where we have the spad space.py. Okay, so we open this hierarchy on our, our favorite uh, text editor and we can see here the space spider. So here it uses the URL we gave it to start with but we have our own URLs uh, to use here. So we just copy paste those and uh, format them appropriately. Also we see that those have different domains. Uh, so this allowed domains doesn't help us. So we'll go and use all of them without using any constraints. So let's try to run this and see what happens. Let me rearrange the icons a little bit. Okay, and uh, how can we run this? Scrapey, crawl, and then the name of uh, the spider here, space. Oh, so we can see uh, quite a few pieces of data here. Um, let's see the statistics for a second. We can see here request count 13. We can see here 301 pages, 4 and 200 uh, responses, 9. So these are different return codes. We can see the logs here and observe that they have uh, several info uh, and redirects that actually happen. We can see here redirecting uh, from uh, to spacenews.com with HTTPS, uh, actually from HTTPS to HTTP, which is an interesting interesting one. Then we can see that it actually implicitly asks for robots.txt for many of those sites. We can see space.com being redirected to www.space.com. So we can see that Scrapey does some interesting stuff in the background. So anytime this succeeds, actually we get to uh, this parse method. And uh, so uh, response.body should have the body of the response actually. And there is also response.url. Uh, let's try to print those and see what's the output like and from the body I'm going to print the first 30 characters. Okay, let's try to do this and see what the output looks like. Nice, so this is the URL and then you can see the beginning of the file. One thing that you can observe is this B on the beginning which means that uh, it's encoded. Uh, so we would also like to uh, have it as a Unicode string and we can do this with dot decode utf8 let's try to rerun and let's limit a little bit the output so there is not so much noise and we can see minus l1 limits the output uh, and gets rid of all the info and starts printing from warning and above if i do minus l error uh, it will be even more selective so now we can see indeed the URL plus the beginning of the string, so it all looks good. And now it's about time for us to go and check uh, those URLs. So let's open them in a browser. So we can see here the titles and we uh, can see if we right click here and click on inspect. This one shows us that the titles are actually inside H3, H3 level heading, and then inside A, AHREF. 
So it's a good question, how do we do uh, this? How do we extract H3 and A information? Uh, let's have a look and first of all let's disable those uh, three other links so we can start with the first one. So there is a way here uh, to use the CSS keyword and tell them to print us whatever tag is of type H3. Uh, so let's see quickly if uh, this works, if it gives us the headers we are looking for. Nice, so we can see some selectors here. And now there is a, a scrapey pseudo attribute that can be used. Let me give you some context here. If we search in Google for scrapey selectors and we search for CSS here, we can find all sorts of examples of uh, how this CSS is used. And so from here I'm quite experienced, but you can uh, start uh, looking into those and see how they're used more in, the deta more in detail. They're, this is where all the information is. So we can do H3 text and see what this creates for us. We can see a more refined selector. Let's do extract here. Okay, better uh, wrap this in a list. Okay, this looks much better. So, a launch uh, timelines for SpaceX. Okay, good. So, we can see uh, now it outputs all those uh, header for us. So, this is a good starting point. Uh, let's now take this part, which is uh, iterating through all the links in the page and let's say for link in response CSS and uh, see what happens here. As you can see this is an iterating, iterative uh, process link.extract. So I would expect this to print many times information about those links. Okay, this is good uh, because we can see now we have link and the text of this link uh, in its line. Uh, so this means that I can now break this into two parts. So uh, I can uh, say link dot and then CSS text extract and name this uh, text and then do the same with the uh, URL. And uh, again, how do I extract the URL? With CSS here. You can see at attribute href. This is uh, again inside the, in the help page. So let's see if this works. Uh, print text, comma, URL. Okay, very good uh, place to be. We can see here, again, we have this problem with the strip. We have to actually remove those. But also notice that this prints two lists to me uh, for every link. So this is inside the Python list and this list has one string. So actually we can use extract first uh, to flatten those lists. Let's see what the change is. 
and you can see it's much better now uh, and uh, now if we do a dot strip here we will remove all those new lines and tabs and we will hopefully have a very nice result yes so here are the titles and then the URL so we have the two elements we need for uh, this um, this first uh, URL space flight now so we could go if response dot URL uh, if in this one we have space uh, flight now uh, we can have um, for example links or um, headers or headlines yes headlines equals an array so an empty array and then we append in there the text and the URL as tuples let's see if this works more or less and then I will explain it more in the details in detail so print headlines I would expect this to print me an array exactly as I would like so titles and then URLs title and then URL that's quite good so why do I do this uh, uh, I do this because this is te this technique is uh, specific for this website only, right? Those expression here, H3A, those works work only for spaceflightnow.com. So I say if it's spaceflightnow.com, in response to the URL, then do uh, add things in the headlines, and I add the text and the URL. This is a list of uh, of tuples. So. Uh, you could think of this as a list of lists, right? Uh, no big deal. Uh, we are going to uh, do the same thing for the other three websites. Uh, and so at the end of this process, we will have a list that no matter which type of website we uh, check, uh, we will be able to use your, those keywords on all those four websites so we will we are homogenizing those input data out of this process if here and then uh, we will uh, use the same code to do the keyword lookup with those keywords over here so let's go to the second website spacenews.com okay i close this for now and uh, here we can see uh, many nice uh, headlines and obviously they have the links uh, so this will be a little bit easier I guess uh, because now we can copy this and paste this as always <laughs> elsif here or elif as we write in python and now we can go to spacenews.com so we enable the second URL and uh, let's um, have a look and see how the headline looks in here inspect so here we have h1 and inside the h1 we have an a uh, item okay not bad so here also let's check this one it's also h1 and a so it looks like we're quite lucky here all we need to change is this one h1 and a and uh, we should now be able to see the headlines of of this website this is very uh, doesn't happen often to be able to do this with so little changes okay i was optimistic uh, it's more complex so first of all let's start here again investigating what is going wrong uh, print h1 let's see what happens if we print h1 here okay empty this is interesting so we might have a very weird case let's see that we get a body a response at all here yes so you can see actually the mistake is here space flight now i should have space news here okay let's see now response that body i get some output this is good and let's remove this so that we reduce the noise okay indeed uh, trump wants nasa out of iss operations 
yes this is the headline very nice uh, China claims progress okay yeah here is this headline so indeed we were very lucky uh, with the second website let's try the third one uh, space.com So this is the one that uh, it was warning us uh, about not having proper URL, uh, proper certificate. So let's turn this to HTTPS -O -W, 3W, yes. So let's uh, double check that this works. Okay, good. So now I will try to not make the same mistake again while copy pasting space news uh, let's put if space.com in there uh, and let's print high and see what happens uh, okay we can see our high there that's good and uh, let's now go to the page and see what we have so this has quite different structure uh, we can see different sections and um, so I guess we want to watch SpaceX and student okay a little bit difficult to right click here without <laughs> causing uh, it to jump to that page So right click, inspect, let's see what happens here. And um, we have a span, how catastrophic life. So here is an A. A. We are always looking for A's because those are the, uh, the links. So I can see here one type of, uh, of links that are inside um, the slide container. This is interesting. So how would we encode that div dot slide container and then a and then we would have the text uh, of, of the link and also we can see the text is not exactly uh, in there in the link but in something uh, on subsequent divs but this might work fine so uh, let's have a look to see if this can extract stuff from the slide container okay so we can see that we have the links but we don't have the text uh, so let's observe what is going on here a div span so if we do here a div span sorry on the text here it will let us go deeper inside uh, this um, this div and inside this link and then we will iterate in this level in this div and then inside this pan and try to extract this text over here so let's see if this works yes okay so we can see the text and the urls here uh, not bad and now let's see what other forms of uh, urls this has so uh, because this was only from the spider as uh, slider so we can see uh, uh, here we have sections so we have those block sections and then we have a uh, section lead and href here um, so in this case we have many such cases so we can extract more information with another for loop uh, slide container so here it's called a sect lead let's do sect lead and uh, we are inside a and then in a div and this is where the text is okay so no span in this case uh, let's disable this for now we will re-enable it in a bit uh, just to see uh, if we get information successfully out of those okay so china reveals details okay we found this one let me refresh because this is quite heavy page so yes we have done this one and then where is Artemis? 
okay good so uh, we we get those headlines here and uh, yeah more or less that's it I don't know if we would like those sub headlines here as well uh, let's see if it's something like uh, an easy thing to extract yeah it looks quite easy so I would say uh, li class sect title so here is another kind of URLs we can easily extract so these are inside li with sect title and then inside the links we can extract the text and the attribute so those should be the small ones so this has lots of material space.com okay so we find this one science fiction okay good one thing that we observe here is that those URLs are relative URLs and we would like to have uh, absolute URLs and we can do this uh, easily by doing a uh, URL join on the response. So this is a change we can do actually everywhere, it doesn't hurt. Uh, okay, and here as well. And uh, let's see if this works. Yes, we now have uh, absolute URLs, so HTTP uh, S, www, five great summer vacation ideas, exactly as the title suggests. Excellent. So now let's enable all those and see that uh, it works fine. So this will give us lots of URLs and text. Good so this is exactly what we expected that it works let's go to the last url here uh, er aesthetica or aesthetica or something like that <laughs> so very nice so let's copy paste as usually let's take the previous case which was not very um, which was easier and uh, let's search for this one Let's make it say hi, so we know we do the right thing. Print hi, okay. Good, and uh, let's go look what uh, this looks like. So, okay, standard layout here, uh, we can see quite a few headlines different formats and let's see what we have so right click inspect and um, okay you can see h2 and a this is easy to catch let's see this one again h2 and a this looks okay so in this case h2 and a as well very nice uh, this one what is this one this one is inside an article tag and an A, an anchor. And this, I hope it is H2 and A again. H2 and A. Good. So this looks like it will have two, um, two types H2 and A. And then it has article and A. Uh, okay. And let's see if we are very lucky this might work as easily as that. Okay, so this in this case it says non-type object has no attribute strip. So um, this means that at some point we try to extract something uh, that doesn't have a text. Uh, is this a problem? Is this not? I don't really know. So let's see. Um, let's name these uh, first or text or actually maybe text this uh, maybe text okay and let's see uh, if maybe text then do all those things otherwise actually print me uh, print me so I can see where am I and check the type of bug I have else print link 
let's see what it will give us okay good so first of all we see that quite a few uh, are successfully extracted let's see if they map to anything meaningful oh uh, this is not good this is the name of the uh, of the author here so we can see that probably it went a little bit too crazy with the article cases but uh, beyond that let's go to see what happened on those uh, yes cases where it didn't find the text so you can see here a class overlay so in this case I will go here and go view source right click view page source okay so this is again inside article overlay and we can see no text here uh, so it looks like I was a bit too aggressive with this one uh, and uh, we can see the text is actually much uh, deeper and there is an H2 and header uh, so maybe all this article uh, story wasn't really needed. Uh, let's see how much of the links, how many of the links we can get uh, by just doing this. Okay, so let's see. First of all, we see there was no error. Uh, okay, so the submarine of Elon Musk. So we got this one. Then let's see what happens in this new documentary. Okay, we got this one. Master Energy Project. Okay, so we got that one. Uh, good. So let's see what happens below. Uh, three major sites aren't. Okay, so it looks like we get this one as well. And also the next one is Valve Leaks. Uh, so we don't get this problem with the author. Uh, this looks good. And I guess we have the FCC somewhere and all those ones at some point. Yes, good. So it looks like we have everything that is a headline around here. Uh, energy shifts. Okay. Uh, about those ones, do we have Deal Master? Net neutrality. California. Yes. So it looks like we have all those links here. So this is fantastic news because uh, right now we have all those websites. And we have the rules to extract headlines from all of them. So let's check. We enable all those three websites. We can extract them a little bit more. And uh, what we can do easily here is actually if we try to yield for I in uh, headlines just to show this um, we can yield uh, headline and then I of zero and then URL and then I of one so this is a nice way to demonstrate this quickly minus o uh, urls.csv or let's say headlines.csv let's see how this works so a few seconds after I run this one I can see it completed and now I double click on headlines.csv and I can see the links uh, space fight now space.com uh, aesthetica and space news so we can see all the headlines and all the links in here uh, this is a quite nice way to check that everything is as we as we want it to be but we don't yet do the uh, check for those keywords okay uh, this is quite easy to do so first of all let's uh, take this list and convert everything to lowercase i would say this parenthesis will probably confuse this so probably here you effectively mean uh, 
you want either BFR or Big Fal Falcon Rocket. Okay, this looks better. And uh, so now we can go with say, actually do this. So for any headlines, uh, we know that the headline is in I of zero. Uh, so headline equals I of zero. And what we want is to make sure that headline dot lowercase. So uh, we we convert this to lowercase, uh, and we want to ensure that some of the keywords are in this headline. So for keyword in keywords, uh, so we could say if any any uh, keyword in a headline. for keyword in keywords then do this yield so let's understand what this does uh, first of all we make the headline lowercase because you know it's very hard to uh, get those right so GPS 3 for example is it capital is it like that I don't care in the headline if I see this uh, in either case probably this is what I want so I make the headline low, lower case and then uh, I search for any uh, keyword uh, and if I see any of those keywords to be in the headline if this condition is true uh, then I actually put it on the CSV file as I did before uh, so let's rm headlines.csv so get rid of it so we start for with a new one and see what happens. I would expect to be empty, to be honest. Yes, so I don't need to open it zero bytes here. And why is that? Because, of course, those keywords do not exist in there. But let's uh, try to find, for example, it seems that Elon Musk was quite uh, popular. So let's put Elon in the list and see what happens. Good. So 734 bytes and we can see indeed all the headlines for Elon Musk. Uh, would you, we like to add SpaceX? I guess it will not increase a lot, but SpaceX, that's right. So two kilobytes, probably it appended. Yes, highly likely. So let's see. one kilobyte yes it had appended before so let's remember to re remove this one and yeah we can see actually twice as more than twice uh, number of links and this is about elon musk or spacex uh, and we can see the links here spacex okay good so uh, lots to learn from uh, this video uh, a very nice uh, project uh, very focused and uh, uh, of course uh, read more here the tutorials selectors.html uh, you can see that the process is quite standard so we go again and again and we do the same thing again it's a very iterative process we get things wrong all the time but then we go back and fix them and improve the quality as we go it's all about uh, choosing uh, the right CSS uh, CSS tags here and uh, doing the appropriate extraction. So I hope you like it, you find it useful. Thank you very much and have fun.